Here's my token. It's uh, $10, but it knows my retirement fund. Please be careful with it. I'm sorry, say that again? It's a $10 token. There weren't many of them. Why is it a $10 token? It's just from... Let's talk about capitalism for a minute, shall oh, we? Oh, no, let's not okay. talk about <laughs> capitalism. Hmm. What is capitalism? I'm glad you asked. Welcome to the season premiere of Shuffle Up and Play. Today, behold, the Pioneer Gauntlet. We have 10 decks in the Pioneer format that have been brought by our guests and members of staff. We will be choosing two for each round. Once a deck is chosen, it cannot be played again. Who is playing Pioneer with us today? Well, I'm Mason Clark. I'm a content creator. I write for Card Kingdom. I'm a full-time coach for Magic the Gathering, and I do a podcast called Constructed Criticism targeted at helping people who are getting into competitive magic succeed. I am Jesse Robkin, also known as Titty Pills. Um, I am known for my articles on Channel Fireball and uh, TCG Player. Also for my uh, scripts here on Tolarian Community College, and of course for my fire tweets. So today, Mason, Titty pills. You will be oh, oh, wow. choosing two pioneer decks. Well, one each. Remember, after you have played a round with that deck, you may not use it again for the rest of the episode. Whoever loses, I will trade places with, and I will get to pick a deck. You will have to pick another deck if you win. That does this make sense? Makes perfect sense. We will be doing six pioneer decks. The way I would like to choose is we will roll first to see who is playing first and whoever loses the die roll gets to pick first to compensate. Wow, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. People have trouble with my rules. I think the most logical thing is to roll four dice, minus two, plus one. No. Okay. Just just two? Okay, we can do that too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> easy, easy. When you win, it's just gonna be very impressive. <sighs> All, All right. right. Well so, Mason, are you play or draw? You don't know what your deck is yet because I Jesse will get to pick first, yeah. but nonetheless. Yeah, it's a big question. I'm gonna choose the play. I'm gonna take the draw from time to time. I'm gonna take the play today. Okay. All right, Jesse, uh, we've gone over the decks in advance. You know what is in the gauntlet. What is your pick? I'm gonna, th I'm gonna throw you off. I'm gonna get Mono white humans. All right. Oh. I, for one, did not think you would do that. Yeah, I'm, it's a bit of a curveball for you. Yeah. I, 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 I like how you knew that was the mono white humans because it's actually in the the white legion I just assumed deck box. It could be maybe in the I don't. I don't one, know uh, uh, if these other ones. I know what they they are, though. I may have to open them a couple this times. I think sure I, I have two oranges. What would you like to play against mono white humans from the Pioneer Gauntlet, Mason? There's a lot of cool decks in Pioneer that I really like. Recently, I've been in love with the five color Omnath deck. So yeah. Hit me. Five All color right. Omnath. Let's go. I think this is it. Can you check if that's five color? It also it might be in. Looks to have Dragonth in the front. Is that it? Uh, this seems to be it. Okay, oh, yeah. Good. I thought it might have been in this one. All right. So, these decks may only be used in round one. Whichever one of you loses will trade places with me. And then again, myself and whoever is the winner will each pick two new decks for round two. And that will continue on to round three. Six decks total. Mason, you're on the play. Shall we shuffle up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Whew. So I love. What does this guy do? Yeah. Well, just do, do you need to read it at all? There, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah, easy. Right. So what does it do? You got it. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Oh, I figured it out. I'm not gonna tell you though. Mason, what the hell does this thing do that shouldn't even exist? Well, it's an eighth card in my hand, and it's a five-five. It's like Colossipede, you know, just a five and a five-five. But uh, in reality, it actually does have text in my deck, so my deck can't have any cards that have uh, the same mana pip on the front. So I can't have like counterspell in my deck. But in exchange, I get this five-five that can tap and add one of each color of mana to my mana pool that can only be spent on those mana costs. For example, if I had, you know, let's say Elishnorn, I could only use the white. I couldn't use the red to pay for her generic. You wouldn't play Elishnorn against me though, right? <laughs> oh, that'd be weird. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta change the card. It right. sounds like you have a commander deck. <laughs> I, oh, it feels you know. like you're playing commander and pioneer. It, you know, it is kind of like that. Uh, the cool thing about this deck is that you can have like a lot of different customization. You have a lot of tutoring too, a lot like Commander as well. And 
you have this little friend as well, so it's just the best of everything. And you just get this guy for free? Yeah, just get him for, well, you know, I had to build my deck in a very strict way. I couldn't have double pips. Unless the double pips were on the backside, of course. You gotta be chill, be chill, be chill. Be chill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, obviously right. cards can't track the backside. That would be silly. There's right. no way to do that. If the technology existed, they would do it, yeah. obviously. All right, I'm gonna give these really, back. I'm tired of looking at yeah. it. Okay. You were really shuffling up there. I believe six times is sufficient. Well, right. you know, we were, I'm we, we were to, bantering, you know? We were yes. a little banter. I'm gonna cut your deck every time you shuffle it as you should i'm gonna cut your deck every Pro time you players shuffle. i'm gonna look away i'm gonna you know do this thing and then i want to actually make sure you have 60 cards in your deck because I, I don't know i feel like you know there's just a situation i just i don't know if i can trust jesse you know I don't, I don't know how much i know her and this ladies and gentlemen and everyone in betwixt is why commander is the most popular format because this is the sort of crap that goes on in pro play Look at right, that. I, 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 was I'm, 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 real, I'm really fun at parties. You should invite me. Yeah. When I play Commander, I do this too. Just because you gotta make sure. All right, six The nice cards. thing about this bit is that once you start, you have to finish. <laughs> yeah, I know. The best part is I actually dislike pile counting a lot. Yeah. So it's, it's some good lore. You also didn't count. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I, I count. In no, I counted. Right, I was counting right. the whole time. I'm a professional. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I'm gonna be on the draw. Okay, I'll take the play. I'm gonna get my. It's a box. The box is outlined my, for my you. My deck is double sold. I like to think outside of the box, prop. Oh my god, that's so crazy. I like to think inside the box where it's safe. My hand is so good. Is it really good? It's okay. On a scale of like <laughs> one to keepable. Uh, it's a keep for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Is it a keep? Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Awesome. All right. Oh wait, my hand actually is only medium. Oh well, that's fine. That's all you need, right? You, yeah. you may still you have an opportunity to mulligan. No, no, still. it's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. Catch your triumph. Uh, also, we do have very sophisticated microphones. Can you not flick your, your cards? I will not flick my cards. Okay. This is, that's a, if only that's you could say that at the LGS. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the hardest challenge of today. I drew the best possible. Go at it. Well, is what, it? Oh, G, yeah, G at tidy pills. Tidy piles. Ti tidy piles. Yeah. I assume you keep your house very clean with all your tidy so piles. This is a basic plane. Yeah, not that one. The okay. other oh, one, oh, yeah, yeah. pro player, <laughs> yeah. coach, writer for men, numerous outlets, including this very channel. What the uh, does yeah. your card do? <laughs> um, Dauntless Bodyguard is a one mana two one. It has some text when there's another creature in play, but there's not. However, if there was another creature in play, I could pick another creature when it entered the battlefield, sack it to give it indestructible. Like As of right pro. now, it's a one mana a 2 1 human. Like a pro. And that's all that matters. Go ahead. One minute. Interesting, you kept a hand without one of without those. Without a one drop. What do you mean? I played a one drop on turn one. That's so true. That's so true. All right, well, I'm going to play the Sun Petal Grove into Sylvan Karyatid. That's cheating. This is a two mana 0 3 with Defender and Hexproof, but in exchange, you can add one mana of any color in my mana pool. I don't like that you have that already. No. All right, I'm going to play another basic planes, and then I'm going to play a Luminarch Aspirant. It's a two mana one one human. When it, at the beginning of combat, I can put a plus one plus one counter on target creature I control. I'm gonna put it on the Dauntless Bodyguard, and I'm gonna attack for three. I'll take. No take? You sure you don't wanna block? I was thinking about it, but I already said take, so you know, it's just, just competitive play, the integrity I counted your deck could be very awkward. Double standard, you understand. All right, that's uh, all I got. Jesse, don't flick the cards. Uh, we have very high tech microphones here. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take it. I know it's your first time on the video. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's really hard not to flick my cards, I'm not gonna lie, I almost did it. I want a little bit of a pickle here, Jesse. Do you not have a third land drop? <laughs> I would not keep a two lander, no way. But if I did, no, I'm joking. All right, I'm gonna play Planes and I'm gonna play Fable the Mirror Breaker. You might be wondering, what does Fable the Mirror Breaker do? If it's in Red's color pie, it can do it. So first it's gonna make a 2-2 Goblin Creature Shaman that when it attacks, makes a treasure. On chapter two, I can discard up to two cards and draw that many new ones. And the backside makes the reflection of Kiki Jiki, which is essentially Kiki Jiki, copies another creature I control that isn't a legendary. I have a question. I'm not too familiar, I guess, but what is a Grand Prix? Oh. Why does your card say Grand Prix? What is that? So this is really cool. So you know the racing things in Europe, they actually teamed up with them to create a special series oh, of Oh, like a crossover. Exactly. Was there some, was there some Grand Prix? Universes Beyond. Uh, universes Beyond, exactly. yeah, with race car, yeah, race yeah. car cards. And, and then stuff. they can turn into robots, right? Yeah. yeah. More than oh, needs to Grand, yeah. Grand Prix crossover. That's oh, very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, this is actually Venice in the background. Very nice. Yes. Do you want yeah. to resolve your chapter one of Fable? I, I would love to get a, a goblin token. Here's my token. It's uh, $10, but it was my retirement fund. Please be careful with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again? It's a $10 token. There weren't many of them. Why is it a $10 token? It's just from... Let's talk about capitalism for a minute, shall <laughs> oh, we? Oh, no, let's not okay. talk about capitalism. <laughs> hmm. What is capitalism? I'm glad you asked. So I'm in this essay, draw. I will. Are you done? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pass the turn. I don't want to attack my defender. That'd be an illegal move. Okay, I got a tough choice here. How many cards do you have in hand? Four. You should probably ask how many of them are good. How many of them are good? Two. Would you like to ask how good they are? 
Not really. They're unbeatable, if it makes you feel better. So it's like, there's not a lot of pressure. Okay. So this is a classic moment. I'm gonna play an Aganjo Seat of the Empire. It has text when I'm not doing what I'm doing right now, but instead I'm playing it as a land that will tap for white mana. So we've got an expensive token and an expensive planes, in other words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Same set. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidence? Follow the money. Cool. I've commentated a lot of Jesse's message on the energy circuit, and this is a common turn three Jesse tanks for four minutes and then knows all of her plays for the rest of the game. But she does tank for four minutes. I'm gonna play Adeline, Ooh. Resplendent Cathar. This is a three mana human knight. It is. It has vigilance. It's got uh, indeterminate power and four toughness. Oh wait, here's the power. Adeline, Resplendent Cathar's power is equal to the number of creatures you control. And whenever you attack for each opponent, so that includes you, Prof, I'm gonna hit you for with one of these. Create a one one white human creature token that's tapped and attacking that player or planeswalker they control. You're not gonna hit me because by the time uh, Mason loses and I take his seat, I'm <laughs> just assuming you will have to pick another deck. And so the that's happiest better. thing of this episode is I don't have to face mono white humans. Wow, hmm. we got a hater Well, luckily, us. due to the formatting, you'll never have to face it. I, I fell on the sword for you. Right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna enter combat. Luminarch Aspirant will trigger. I'm gonna put a counter on itself. Uh, and then I'll attack with everything, which will trigger Adeline, mm -hmm. and I'll make a guy. A little, a little friendo? Yeah, I like calling this mono white guys, because it makes a lot of guys. Uh, would you care if I move to blockers? Uh, I don't mind if you move to blockers. All right, well, I'm gonna think. I don't know what to do from here. That was the hard part. I was thinking, oh man, it was so easy. You got any good ones in hand, Jesse? I have four cards. You have four cards, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Mana available, Jesse? I have three. I have zero mana up right now. Mm. I've done what they call in the business Tricky. curving out, Tricky. which would be really good if I was on the play. Yes. Fortunately, I very unskillfully did not get the. Yeah, play. you took the draw. So silly of you to lose the dice roll. All right. Well, I've done. I've done some thinking. I unfortunately shuffled my cards once. I'm gonna have my Sylvan Caryatid block your Luminarch Aspirant, and I'm gonna have my Goblin Shaman block your one one. Okay. So I'll take three. This will die, mm -hmm. and you're at 14, and that's all I got. Go ahead. Where's Omnath? Right here. Omnasty. Oh, hang on, we, we, gotta, we gotta put this in my hand real quick. All right, trigger my Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I'm going to discard up to two cards and then draw that mini. I'm gonna discard Temple Garden and Fable of the Mirror Breaker and draw two new cards. Wow. That's a really good card you just took. It is. Well, I already have you one. You just don't have another goblin token. Yeah, yeah I'm just out of goblin. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to be cool, be cool, be cool. All right. Would you like to concede? I was thinking about it. A player may concede the game at any time. Oh, I it's love the rules. rules. I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, I have a forest, an island, a mountain, and a plains. So if I were to have a card like Leyline Binding, it would cost two less mana. You mean four less mana? Uh, sorry, it only costs two to cast, is what I meant to say. I'm sorry. So, you know what? I think I'll just cast that card, though. Okay. Uh, Leyline Binding. Uh, when, when Leyline Binding enters the battlefield, I must target a creature, like the Adelaine, and then it will put the creature underneath this, like an O-ring. So, Oops. it also has flash for what it's worth. So, I could have been tricky. Well, you did this in your draw step, right? I did it in my actually response <laughs> to the Fable of the yeah, Mirror yeah, Breaker trigger. The, the obvious time to do it. Yeah. Uh, I will then move to combat. Uh-oh. And Chappelle, get a treasure token. Sure, Check. you don't want to do this in the opposite order, so I can block. Well, I can just, this has flash. Mm. All right. I was trying to be nice, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll get a treasure token. Treasure tokens are cool. I wish they had those a little more often. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's really cool to attach Lotus Petal to a bunch of cards. I yeah, love yeah. that. I think that's totally cool. All right, anyways, no reason. Uh, hit you for two. All right, I take two. All right. Ow. Ouchies. And then, oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that was my taking two action. I'll play a Sacred Foundry tap for my turn and pass. How many cards do you have in hand now? Uh, just three. Would you like to, again, update on the status of the good ones? No. They're the same good ones. I didn't even use my good ones yet. I was just vibing. You had to take my Adeline. Can I comment that I love this Adeline's art while yeah. we're here in the moment? I, I love this. I'm kind of a weeb. I've got big into manga in the last year. It's kind of got like now that sort of Now what is a weeb? It's God. someone who loves like <laughs> anime and manga and that sort of thing. Don't you mean anime? Oh, you know what? Some I'm them do a weeb you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm Southern. It's my accent. Yeah. I thought this was a safe place. Uh, <laughs> I am a weeb ally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't partake myself, but yeah. just has been there <laughs> so, to go some, to of my, some of my best friends are weebs. Okay. Yeah. I hope to meet them someday. <laughs> I don't know what to do, Mason. You can form a club. You yeah. can call it Weebelos. Oh, Weebelos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have the right face paint too, the right colors and everything. Yeah. Gonna cast Thalia. Ooh. I would like to have a response. Okay. But what does Thalia do again while I'm thinking about it? Thalia is a two mana human soldier with two power and one toughness and first strike. Non creature spells cost one more to cast. Non creature spells like Leyline Binding, for instance. Oh, oh, you know what? I will cast Leyline Binding oh. with Flash. Okay. Uh, and 
does this enter the battlefield? It does enter the battlefield. I just thought I might want to respond. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to target your Luminarch Aspirant. I'm going to think for a second. All right. Cards in hand? I have two. Still the good ones. All right. So to be clear to the viewers at home, Thalia is still on the stack. Yep. I'm going to name White off of Brave the Elements. It's an instant for one mana. Choose a color. White creatures I control gain protection from the chosen color until end of turn. I have white creatures. I'm choosing white. <gasps> nice. Are you even allowed to do that? Yes, but any white enchantments or auras would fall off of them. Oh, and yeah. you can't use your Luminarch Aspirant. That's true. You will be able I can't to target Thalia. itself, right? Oh, but I can, oh, sure. The Thalia will not have it because it is on the stack. That's I chose a really to... weird. You, can you, with all the games I've played with this deck, I've never had this interaction come up. Oh, really? It's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Cool. All right, so this stays with nothing under yes. it. You have two cards in hand. I'm going to move to combat. Luminarch yep. Aspirant's going to choose Thalia. Yep. Because, and it can, because Thalia was not in play when the Brave was cast. I'm going to attack you for five. Ooh. I'll take it. I'll go to nine. Go oh ahead. my goodness. Sheesh. I'm halfway there. Have you considered there. bringing Omnath out in your Omnath deck? Will you stop reminding him that he could do that? I don't want or him to Or perhaps your companion in your companion deck. This oh. One. The centipede's coming. The old 5-5. Five five. Big jugs. Big what? Ooh, big jugs. That's what I call Gigantha. <laughs> Must be all those tidy piles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Jesse. I drew a little bit of a heater. I don't like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Play the forest. Favorite basic in the game, by the way, is this art from Rebecca Gay. No, it it's, is. it's actually this plane. No, it's this. This is That's one of my favorite planes, but this is my, besides, obviously, the NASCAR secret layer, Universities Beyond. All right, so I'm going to tap what my... Is the card you drew? No, I had, I've been holding this one. Okay. This has been my special one. So I'm going to make a black here, oh, uh, gosh. a blue here, and then you, you figured out the rest. I'm going to cast Hostage Taker. So Hostage Taker, when it enters the battlefield, uh, exiles target creature and opponent controls, and then I may cast that creature for as long as I control Hostage Taker. Okay. Sheesh. 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 I don't know what this. Yeah, what I, I, I was holding your I, veins. I, I, oh, is that what that is? Is that is? a drug <laughs> reference? No, 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 no. It's, we it's, don't do drugs here at Tularean Community I, College what except for estrogen? alcohol and tobacco. <laughs> and estrogen. <laughs> and estrogen. And, and is ones. that a drug or a hormone? There's no way to know. Yeah. yeah. Only time will tell. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's like ice cold, because it's from like basketball where he would like shoot the shot and then he just wouldn't even react when he like got uh -huh. the three and it's ice cold veins. He just knew he had it. Feels like a drug reference. Don't do drugs except for the ones that you enjoy and are safe. <laughs> Some of the ones the official enjoy. stance of Tolarian Community <laughs> College. Yeah, so the problem is if you haven't done drugs before, you don't enjoy them. So you're kind of hard locked out now. Yeah, that's but true. But it is how life goes. Winners don't do drugs. It's true. It's also not true. Yeah, well, who knows what Adderall really is. Anyways, <laughs> this is enter the battlefield. Uh, I will enter the battlefield and I will target. You're entering the battlefield. Yeah, because it's like is... that magic online bug where they it tells you the player name has entered the battlefield. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I was thinking more like Yu Gi Oh, like Heart of the Cards. You're like, oh, that's sure. me. I'm taking the Luminarch Aspirant. Oh, is that what you're going to I'm going to target the Luminarch Aspirant. And then I, feel I can... like this turn has been going on for years. Who's to say? And this Luminarch Aspirant, a man of any color, I'm going to choose to do white, though. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, beginning of combat, I will use this dice, make this a 3-4, and then I think I'm just going to pass the turn to you. Understandable. All right, I'm going to untap. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a card. It's not the best card I've ever drawn. Is it the worst, though? No. Your question did leave it up to interpretation. You're at 9? I'm at 9. I'm really close to dead, but I've got all these different colors for Brave the Elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Brave. The issue is you have... Fable and Hostage Shaker. Is this what we'd call a Splinter Twin situation, Prof? I can copy the Hostage Shaker, take a thing, cast the thing, then I copy the Hostage, and then I take the thing. Splinter the Twin thing. and Pioneer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm for don't it. Tell, don't tell Watsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, they don't watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You got me in a pickle, Mason. You know, they call me Pickle Mason. Funniest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm Pickle Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so do I take that or that? It's kind of bad for me. A little, is this a playing. Brutal Catharness line? Yeah, it's a Brutal Cathar. It's brutal out here. Problem is I'm kind of losing. You're not sort of winning. You but got you twice as much life as him. That's, I hadn't thought about that. I'm going to cast Brutal Cathar. It becomes day. Do you oh, need a day? Oh, God. <laughs> do you have a day token? I don't. I do, have actually, a day token I do not. You. Okay, I, I was going to say, I do not have a day token. It's over there somewhere. And I would never defile a beautiful infinite token by writing day, night on it. Sure. Should I go grab the token? Yeah. Okay. Go grab it. <laughs> yeah. 
day it becomes you, day. Oh do you God! Know what judges' it, least favorite rules is day night. Yeah, because there aren't there hasn't been a policy update since it happens. So if you're playing at the Pro Tour like I was against Javier Dominguez, and we're both trying to play a good clean game, we miss the day night, and it's like what happens? Look at look at this little like. <laughs> so I was just playing at the yeah, Pro I Tour against Pro Tour. Javier Dominguez. Yeah, my, my uh, good friend Javier. Yes. You know, it, it, it becomes it becomes day, but what it really becomes is tedious. Yes. Wow. Really, really good. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. She. All right, it has become day. I have the sweet, uh, I think it's Inkling Tokens is what they're called. Inkling Tokens, not a sponsor, just a really cool person. Yeah. Link in the description, because I feel like it. Yeah, yeah we got Love Inkling her. Day and Night All right. right here. Um, so yeah, it has become day. Day okay. and night. I toss and turn, I keep exiling your hostage taker. There you go. I wish I could get my guy back. Looks like Splinter Twin just got Splinter Binned. Whoa! Sheesh. Sheesh! Am I dabbing I right? That this that is, is a dab. The, the inside is this, joke this is for a this dab. episode. This is a game. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's God, per yeah, game. Can we please retire it after? <laughs> uh, I'm going to enter combat. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to attack with both of these homies. Okay. Um, We're in a little bit of a pickle. I'm here. so glad I don't have to play against mono white humans no matter what. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to win the game long term. And I think I see it. It's clear to me. So I'm going to go shaman. It's gonna block your 3-2 uh, Dauntless Bodyguard, and then Lunar Gasprint. it's unfortunately gonna take a dive under the bus. The bus known as Thalia? No, as Thalia. Hong Kong. She's more of a brick house, but. <laughs> <laughs> She's a brick house. house. There we I go. know that one. Right. So the reason I'm doing this is I have another Fable in my hand. I just wanna make sure I have a Goblin token. So I'm gonna go okay. block this there, this there. Okay, so these trade. These trade, and then uh, I lose your Luminar cast. Thank you so much for letting me borrow that card. It's so nice of you. I oh would gosh. say any time, but I'm never letting you do that again. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Go. Day and night. I've won the game already. Draw my card. Have bow, you? bow. You are dead. Am I actually? Uh, I mean, you're She's not dead, 18. but you're She's like 19. in trouble. You're at nine. That's so true, Bestie. That's half of what I got. All right, so here's where I'm at. I'm going to announce my things clearly because I'm going to play a very weird card. I'm going to float a black mana, I'll float a green mana. I'm gonna float a white mana. I'm gonna float a blue mana. I'm gonna float a red mana. Then I'm gonna float a any mana. And then that will let me cast Bring to Light. Oh. Okay. So Bring to Light. That was gonna be f f Omnath. No, no, not Omnath. No, we'll Omnath later. So Bring to Light lets me cast any spell of my deck that has mana value equal to the different types of mana I paid okay. or less. So for example, I've spent all five Wooburg plus your one extra for Thalia. So now I can cast any five drop or less from my deck without paying its mana cost. Well, if it's a non-creature spell, you have to pay one more. That is true. I will have to pay one more. Okay. And then I'm going to abuse the rules because when they made this card, they never thought about double face creatures and spells. So I'm going to pick Selfless Glyph Weaver. Uh, which is a three mana two three, but I can choose to cast the card off Bring Delight, which means I can cast it for its backside. Deadly Vanity. Now I'm gonna spend the one treasure to pay for your Thalia. So the way this works is I choose a creature or a planeswalker, then I destroy all other creature and planeswalkers. You wanna pick Brutal Cat? I'm gonna pick Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Okay. Um, now my uh, hostage taker enters the battlefield. It actually must take a creature per its rules. So it will take my Reflection of Kiki Jiki and exile it. It does say cast a card on it though. So I'm gonna be able to recast this reflection of Kiki Jiki here in a second. I'm gonna shuffle up and pass the turn to you. All right, I'll untap, draw. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, if this also dies, I do get my uh, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Okay, I'm gonna play a Mutavault. It's a colorless land. I can also activate it to make it a 2-2 creature with all creature types. Um, and human famously is one of the many creature types. Is boar a creature type? No one knows. One of four knows. <laughs> I've been called quite a bore <laughs> at, at parties. <laughs> hey, same. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Thalia. Yep. Then I'm going to play Thalia's Lieutenant, uh, which Thalia's Lieutenant is a two mana, one one human soldier. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other human I control. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under my control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Thalia's Lieutenant. Uh, so it enters the battlefield and put a counter on Thalia. I'll pass the turn. Drop. Hmm. Your combo has buckled in on itself. Yeah. I know. Yeah, is this a Splinter Twin situation? I'm yeah. hoisted by my own petard. <laughs> it's interesting that you were going to copy this with Fable, but now you're going to make another Fable with this. That's a loop, I think. Loops. All right. <laughs> I've seen Looper. 
God, what a movie. That was movie. a good movie. Was yeah, a good I movie. liked that. Yeah, I got the job done. Hey. <laughs> got the job done. <laughs> it was an entertaining time. All right. <laughs> I could have a beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it didn't set up a sequel either. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, part, of the part of the Looperverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Looper shared cinematic universe. Would it would it be a universe or would it just Hans be a Hans Gruber shows up at the end? <laughs> <laughs> It's from Die Hard, Die Hard another oh, Bruce Willis know. movie. I don't know that. Yeah. It's, it was a good it's, joke. Okay. It's all t- the chat's going to love it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, Hans the, the, Gruber, the, you guys know Hans Gruber? The, you, the youth culture knows Hans yeah. Gruber from that <laughs> yeah. popular... Catch, I never, the youth from like the 80s, but us as well. We have an appreciation for the times. I'm a youth from the 80s. I know. I'm aware. That's why. I, anyways, I'm going to cast you Shane. You're throwing the, heater after heater. Maybe I just had this one. Okay. You know, I mentioned I had two unbeatable cards earlier. You said you had t- a fable in your hand, though. Well, I was lying to you. Uh, anyways, here's a Chain to the Rocks. Uh, so Chain to the Rocks, when this enters the battlefield, and enchants a mountain I control, like Sacred Foundry. And then it exiles target creature and opponent controls until Chain of the Rocks leaves the battlefield, much like my Leyline Binding. Okay. So I'm going to target your Thalia, Guardian of Thraybon. Thank you so much. And then I'm going to cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker yep. off my Hostage Taker, mm-hmm. which will get me another Goblin. And then you're at 18. Yeah, you're going to attack? Pass the turn. Just, Coward. Just big vibes, big vibes. It's a really good card. Is it Adeline? It is Adeline. Adeline was the best draw, I think. I'm going to oh, cast dude. Adeline. You've it seen wasn't. her before. She triggers Thalia's Lieutenant. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to cast Hopeful Initiate, which also triggers Thalia's Lieutenant. Hopeful Initiate is a one mana human warlock for that's with one power and two toughness. It has training everyone's favorite keyword. Whenever it attacks with another creature with greater power, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And I can pay three mana and remove two one, one counters from any creature I control, or any any combination of creatures I control, to destroy an artifact or enchantment, like a, a leyline binding or a chain to the rocks, even a fable of the mirror breaker. I will now enter combat. Yep. I'm gonna attack with, ooh, don't wanna do that. You have one card in hand, it's gonna be a new card if it's bad. So instead, I'm just gonna pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap and draw and trigger my Fable of the Mirror Breaker, chapter two. I can discard a card if I want to draw a new card. I don't think I do though. That's bad for me. It's not good, but the other card I have isn't super great either. I'm not gonna use my Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. All right, I'm going to make white, green, blue, and red. I think I know what's coming. Omnath. Hey! It got there. So Omnath has a lot of abilities. Let's all buckle down, grab a T, and get ready. So when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, the first time I gain four life, the second time I gain one of each mana that Omnath has, so every color minus black, and then the third time in a turn, it deals four damage to you and all of the planeswalkers you control. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a card. All right. Now I'm going to play Xander's Lounge, which is a land which will gain me four life for my Omnath. Wow. So you get 13. Ye, and I cannot stress this enough, haw. <laughs> I think you have stressed it enough. <laughs> uh, it's hard to say. Uh, and then I will pass the turn back to you, Jesse, and just hope that you do not draw the card I'm thinking of. Let me see if I say Brave the Elements and you draw it. It's really awkward. Is this Brave whole thing. even that good here? It's not bad. I think your best draw is probably like Brutal Cathar. But... No, I drew my best draw. What was your best draw? It's gonna be another Thalia's Lieutenant. Let's figure out how I want to precisely do this. So I'm gonna cast Thalia's Lieutenant. It's gonna create two triggers on the stack. With those triggers on the stack, I'm going to also activate Mutavault. So Mutavault being a creature of any type, it's also a human, famously a creature type. Um, So I'm gonna put counters on all of my creatures and then this is gonna get, I'm sorry, not this one, uh, on all of these creatures and then this is gonna get another uh, counter. This gets a counter, this gets a counter, and that gets a counter. Okay, I'm just going to attack with I'm going to stick with this attack. Uh, so I'm going to declare attackers. I'm attacking with both of these. Um, Adeline is going to create another human, which is going to trigger both my Thalia's lieutenants. And uh, those are my attacks. All right, so I think your Adeline's a 7-4? Seven, 7-5. Seven, 7-5, five. Seven, five, seven, five. thank yes, you. Yes, and this is a 6-6, six, six, and that's yeah. a, just a little 1-1. One, one. Just a little 1-1. One, one. Right, as so, a treat. As yeah. a treat. So I don't block, I go to 1. Uh, if I assume I chump block this 1-1, one, one, I eat the 1-1. One, one. I don't think I want to do that. You can eat little a one one as a treat. That's true. I can just nom 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 nath. <laughs> um, hmm. What am I supposed to do? Is the real question. You have no cards in hand. No. Who needs cards in hand? Not me. I have all these cards on the battlefield. That's true. Yeah. So true. All right. Thirty six percent win rate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. That's what uh. That's, that's what this got in that's the pro some tour. Smack talk. Oh, I'm smack talking my own deck though. That's what that, this that did. was the deck had the pro tour. Uh, this yeah. deck had like a sixty something. Yeah. Yeah. 
I played that deck at the Pro Tour. Mm. I'm part of the reason didn't do so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't win enough matches. Did you win any matches? Yeah, I won some matches at the Pro Tour. With the mono white deck? That's not the question we're asked. <laughs> 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 no, no. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move to blocks. I'm gonna have Omnath and Hostage Shaker double block the Thalia's Lieutenant and then have my 2-2 block the 1-1. One, one. Okay. Interesting. So you're going to take seven. Yep. Do I want to kill your Omnath or your Hostage Taker? That could imply you have another Omnath in hand. Or another Hostage Taker in hand. I think that is unlikely. It is, I guess, technically, although that, yeah, okay. I'm, <laughs> my brain I'm just broke. I'm <laughs> my brain just fully broke. Um, okay. Sheesh. 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 Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it so that the Omnath takes the damage first. Okay. Uh, and then uh, trade with the Omnath, and my human token will die. You'll take seven. You'll go to six. Yep, I'm at six. Uh, and then I'll pass her. Okay. I'll draw. There's no way to know. Yeah, this transforms into reflection of Kiki Jiki. All right, we got that set up. Now I got the big think. Let's have a Kiki. I want to have a Kiki. Lock the doors tight. Do you know that one? I don't know that one at all. That's okay. I've, yeah, and I've never even heard kids <laughs> say that one. Oh, wow. I think she made that one up. I on did the spot not make prof. it up. I'm, yeah. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I hear, I hear kids say a lot of stuff I don't understand. It was on Glee, but it was also before Glee. <laughs> it's I'm fine. stunned locked. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do I look like I watched Glee? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Do I act like I watched Glee? Uh, no. I watched Glee religiously. It was great. <laughs> I had a big crush on Rachel Berry at the age of 15. Wow. She, I think the kids say the blueprint. Uh, I will say the thing that, the, the, the crimes that Glee performed on that song. <laughs> Prismari Command. And I'm going to, it has a couple modes, so I can either do two damage to any target. Uh, target player draw twos, then discards twos. Target player creates a treasure token or destroys an artifact. I'm going to do the first two. I'm going to deal two to your Thalia's Lieutenant, and then I'm going to draw two, discard two. Okay. So, Thalia's Lieutenant damage is Damage on the stack. Damage on the stack. Would you like to do anything Results. with damage on the stack? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. What do you discard? Oh, you haven't discarded. I'm, I'm still thinking. We have to resolve the effects in order. This is not what we call a show of strength, by the way. Not a show of something. It's like a desperate grab. Yeah. I'm going to discard Catcher, Trion, and Stomping Ground. That's sure. my two things. Don't think I need those right now. All right. I'm going to put Gigantha into my hand. Okay. It's a different sleeve. That way I won't shuffle into my deck. Little tip there. And I'm going to play this Jetmere Garden. Nice. And I'm going to pass the turn to you. So you have one card in hand, and it's a Gigantha. Gigantha. Do you think this card's good? If it's Brave the Elements, I think I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> I'll be, I mean, like, I, I can maybe live, but I'll be really close. I'm going to be honest, Basic Planes would be a great draw here. Yeah, Basic Planes would be really good. It was neither of those things. It was nice. neither. Um, it was actually possibly one of the worst cards I could have drawn. That's good, because last turn you drew one of your best cards, so that's yeah. called that's called balance. It's like I drew these lands, spoilers on the Prismari Command, where you've seen all the cards. <laughs> okay, so you have three blockers. Mm -hmm. If I attack with these, you ha you actually have to block with two creatures, which is very good news for me. Activate. Yep. I'm going to attack with everything, Yep. Uh, which will training trigger, because this is a creature with greater power, and I'm going to get a 1-1 one, one human. Yep. Uh, and I'm coming at you, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. This is a 5-5. Five, five. This is a 1-1. One, one. 3, 3, and a 3-4. Okay. I'm going to have Reflection of Kiki Jiki get in front of the way of old Adeline, and I'm going to have Goblin Shaman and um, Hostage Shaker double block the hopeful initiate, because the initiate is a 3-4, correct? Correct. Okay, that was going to be my block. Okay, so you're going to take four. Yep, good two. Uh, I'm going to uh, assign blockers so that hostage taker dies. Okay. I believe. Um, yeah, because you have a Gigantha. Five, one, two, this is going to make it. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. play another hopeful initiate, your friend and mine. Mm. Go. All right, looking for the exact card. Not the exact card. Uh-oh. Extinction event? Yeah. Or, or bring to light? Extinction event. I mean, bring to light is extinction event, but yeah. Extinction event. More. Convenient that I have seven mana because I have Sylvan Carry added, who we saw earlier in the game. Wow. And then I have Gigantha, the Wellspring, which mm -hmm. we talked about at the beginning, can make a bunch of mana, but also just a 5-5. Five, five. Nice. And I'm going to pass the turn. You have three blockers? I have three blockers. Interesting. Uh-oh. Activate? Yep. Move to combat? Yep. Attack with everything. This is going to train. This is gonna make another guy. I have five attackers, and you're at two? I'm at two. Good games. Good games. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you, me, but you can't use mono white humans, so you must pick 
from the Pioneer Gauntlet box as must I. What will we pick as the challenger? I get to pick first. Yes. Yes. But I want to. Can we just savor the moment of me beating Mason real quick, though? This was really. This was really <laughs> um, and uh, I have so many people I'd like to thank. Uh, Mason, first of all, thank you for helping me get to be as good as I am. Um, Bob and Cheese for uh, oh making this deck. Me for beating you. Um, I really can't. Anyway, so we can move on. <laughs> So for the second round, uh, I have a lot of decks to choose from, and I think the one that jumps out to me the most is the Is It Creativity deck. Um, this is the deck that Reed Duke just won the Pro Tour with recently, um, and it's a really sweet blue-red combo deck um, uh, that's, you know, plays sort of like a Splinter Twin style gameplay where you interact some and eventually you land your, your combo finish. Um, I'm not sure what the prop's gonna pick, um, but Really, no matter what he picks, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what the, the creativity deck can do. I'm not really familiar with creativity, but I don't care. I'm picking Grease Fang. Why? It's exactly like my favorite French Rights deck. You remember when I got to play my favorite standard deck of all time, French Rights? Grease Fang, it's, it's really similar, only this time it's a rat digging through your garbage for a vehicle. Time for round two with the professor versus Jesse. I'm still celebrating my win. Oh, are you? Yeah. I couldn't tell. Yeah. You've just been doing this the whole time. <laughs> I've not stopped doing this <laughs> yeah. since. Uh... Well, you're not going to be celebrating for very long because I am about to clean your clock or perhaps just grease my own fangs with Grease Fang, which is a deck that, though I have only played it a few times, is very similar to a deck I used to play a lot of. So naturally, I'm going to be a whiz with it, right? That's how that works, right? For yeah. sure. Yeah. Conversely, this deck is very similar to a deck I never got to play, but always would have liked to play. Okay. Splinter Twin. Oh, God. <laughs> we just saw that, though. Twin is back, baby. All right. I don't really right. know much about Here's your deck. Here's a cut okay. opportunity for All you. Right. I'm going to do the LGS cut, which is just this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Just well, that was the card I wanted, though. Yeah, yeah, that was. All right. All right. So I am on the play because I'm sitting in the loser seat. That's your, your That's seat, me. Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're part Jesse. Am I, I'm, if, if I beat her, yeah. then am I on the pro tour? You have to beat me. Okay, so then you'll, after I beat her, yes. then you'll come in and I'll beat you. Very yes. presumptuous, I see. <laughs> see what we got here, come on. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, this ain't your deck. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'll be, I'll be uh, mulliganing this. I'll keep my hand. Yeah. Don't. It's not very good in this, it's like a bit risky in this matchup, mm. but. All right. A risque, it's as a the kids risque would say. In this matchup, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's a great philosopher, Hannah Montana, once said, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days, Jesse, so. Shuffle mine a few times, Mason. Will do, will do. That's what it is. You don't have that Pro Tour shuffle. Yeah, I need the Pro Tour shuffle. Yeah. yeah. The, you know, the look away. You know, they don't the, just the give boom. these jackets to anybody. That's how you yeah, do you it? had to spend $100 right. yeah. to get yeah. this one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut yeah. you to the good cards. All right, there good go. cards. All, All right. These. The worst part of this is they don't even see the coolest part of the jacket. The back is the dragon. Hey. Do, you, do you like dragons? I got, I got this. This dragon. is doable. I love dragons. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. This is doable. The only problem is, is what do I put on the bottom? Brain no worky. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty nice hand. Yeah. So let me just keep seven, right? Yeah. Which, which, which one is this one? I don't know by its art. It's, it has a little indicator. On yeah. It. I, I can see your thumb. Oh. Oh, you're good. Um. Chuckles. I'm in danger. Yeah, and then hope for that. <laughs> yeah, and hope that works out there. Because you know, because you do 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 do. You don't have to do the thing, though, all right? right? Like I'm we putting all this, putting this on the bottom. No. Nah. Good luck. I don't feel I should have to wish my opponent good luck. Wow. Is, uh, <laughs> that is something a terrible person would say. Good luck, Jesse. <laughs> Win or lose, I'm so excited to get to play against you today. Bam! That's how it's done. All right, I'm going to play a. Blooming Marsh comes into play untapped. Tap for a black, and we're starting right off the bat. Look at that. It's a Stitcher's supplier. Supplier! Wow, wow, Is that wow. like buy you an ancestral? What does that card do? This card, when it enters, that's, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was, I, I was just, I'm just shocked by your buy you. God, everyone he, he sits, sits in your chair. And yeah, he thinks, to thinks you. you're the professor. Here. I'm gonna put on a fancier jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, what does Stitcher's Supplier do? Well, when Stitcher's Supplier enters the battlefield or dies, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Uh, number one. Number two. Oh, no come whimmies, on. No whimmies, no whimmies. Oh. I mean, that's not bad if you have, there's some. Yeah, there's a few things. Can't say 
There's a few things that that would be okay it. That's on. That's a fun fact about me. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I pass it the turn. Okay. I just feel it feels a lot like Ancestral. You drew three cards out of the graveyard. Okay. It feels like Prof's playing with an unfair deck. <laughs> I'm going to play... There's a few proxies in my deck uh, because I thought I had all the cards and I actually was missing a few. Um, so this is... Uh, I'm going to play this tapped. It's a uh, Valakit Awakening or Valakit... <laughs> what the Storm hell is Forge. that? <laughs> like... That secret layer, Jesse Rob. Yeah, secret, yeah. What, uh, what? What is that? What, what is that? It's a mountain with fire. Oh my god. Yeah, it's actually. It's, I'm an artist. I really wish. So I really wish that was an infinite token, so that we could wipe that away. <laughs> if you give me an infinite token, you put it on top. It's okay. Um, so the, uh, the <laughs> Just, you know when we had we we, we 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 had Amy the Amazonian on her. She had this beautiful sketch. She had writing and this and that. What the f does that do? Okay, so what I assume you are implying is that this is also a beautiful sketch. And no, <laughs> I'm not even implying. I'm not implying that. Um, this you can't just tell from the card what it does. All right, all right, fine. Uh, this the, the this is a double face card. The back side is a tapped red land, which is what I'm playing it as. The front side uh, is you put a bunch of cards from your hand into the bottom of your right. library and draw that many cards plus one. But okay. I'm not doing it at that side. I'm playing it as a tapped red land. R all right, great. Go. All right, lovely, lovely penmanship. Should you put a little there. alarm clock for the awakening part of Alakut? Go. <laughs> hey, that's not bad at all. I, I got oh, that that's, wasn't that, bad that at was. all. Yes. I'm going to play a Concealed Courtyard. This comes into play untapped because I control two or fewer lands. It's like Scrubland. It, no, it isn't. Oh, it's I'm, pretty close. No. Uh, green and a black. It's time for some grizzly salvage. Very grizzly. I reveal the top five cards of my library. I may put a creature or land card from among them into my hand. The rest go in the graveyard. It's just like French rights. All right. We've got... <laughs> All right. Is that a whammy? Grease fang. Depends on no. what else is in the pile. I want to point, <laughs> point, point your attention to the fact that is creature or land. Uh, Grizzly Salvage, just a little bit more of that. This is a land, maybe I want the Blooming Marsh. I mean, look, I've only got two, okay, you know, no, I mean, want no that. There's another land I could take. Right. A... So far, so good, no Parhelions. <laughs> oh, it's Parhelion 2. You should have asked about the second one. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's said, a missed Yeah, part you just part. said Parhelion. Yeah. So, uh, there we go. Let's put these in the, you, the graveyard. Oh, you know, I can't- smug about this. I can't take the Parhelion because it's a vehicle. Oh, so I guess oh. I'll just take the Grease Fang. Gosh, but maybe I don't have a third land in hand or right. anything like that. Um, I'm going to move to Declare Attackers, and First Blood gets you for one. Ow. I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a Spire Bluff Canal. Mm -hmm. It's similar to these lands. Yeah. Caps for blue and red. Sure. Um, and that's all I got. That's I'll it? I'll pass the turn. All right. Yeah. We're going to... I think we're gonna run you over with a motorcycle or a giant building that summons angels. Draw for turn. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's play a mana confluence. Well, I think we're just gonna go for it. Let's just do a uh, white, black, and another. I take one damage from the confluence going to 19. Here it comes, the one, the only, Grease Fang. Don't do it. Don't do it. Grease Fang resolves. Really? Interesting and suspicious. She is the Okiba mob boss. So like, uh -huh. like she's obviously uh -huh. resolved. All right, I move to combat. Move to combat's fine. Okay, so at the okay. beginning of combat on my turn, return target vehicle. I have a response. Uh-oh. So you're gonna target that? I'm gonna cast Fire Prophecy, oh, deal three damage to Grease Fang. Okay. And I may put a card from my hand into the bottom of my library and draw a card. Okay, now I targeted the Parhelium. Will it still come onto the battlefield? Yes. Yep. Cool. It will still return at the end of thing. Oh, uh, it's like you drew cool. a card. Wait, that's Look, less you, cool. yeah. you were so sad about putting it in the graveyard last turn. Now this turns in your hand. Okay, but it does, but I won't be able to equip it. Yeah, correct. That's, that's that true. That sucks. Okay, so the you grease fang will die. suck. Oh, I, I'm well aware. <laughs> um, All right, so, and is this, egg, is this exiled or in my graveyard? Oh, uh, that fang. goes to the uh, graveyard. To the graveyard? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put... Love that. Lame. Lame. I'm going to put this at the bottom. I'm not sure it's right, but... And then I get to draw a card. Parhelion hits the battlefield. Swing for one. I go to 18. <laughs> Move to your end step. No. Judge, I had a second main phase. Okay, second I had main a, phase. She most tried to move directly to end step. What? What's the, is there like a warning for that? So, yeah? All right. All right, you are. Move to second. You are warned. Yes. Consider me warned. You are warned. <laughs> Consider me warned. Move to second main. What would you like to do? 
I'd like to do a lot of things, but I can't do a move to end step. Parhelion returns to my hand. Pass the turn. It seems like a perceptive, a perception thing, because you'd be so happy to draw a card normally, and you just like drew the Parhelion. So oh. it's like you've drawn a card. I drew an awkward one. Um, <laughs> however, I'm gonna say it's fine. I'm gonna take two damage from my steam vents. All right. Yeah, you're, you're really on the board now. Yeah. I'm gonna tap three mana. I was. Please allow me to tell you the fable of the mirror. Yeah, I know what it does from last. It's got all right, it. We all got right. it. I'll make it gets it, the guy. fable is is it gets banned in modern and for no reason. It gets banned in modern. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really funny. Um, or, oh yeah, they're right, they're right here. I'll make a little guy. Yeah. Um, little gabo. Look how happy he is. He's a little thing in his hand. Yeah. It's a little treasure. Yeah. Great. He's great, saying, great. "Get out of here." Yeah. Maybe he's waving. Uh huh. Pass the turn. Great. Believable. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. <laughs> I didn't just draw a Emrakul or Helion. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's cool. Helion 2. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start out here. I just want to want to start actually with a thought seize. Mm, that's not bad. I go to 17. Show me what you got. All right. I got a fiery impulse. Uh-huh. A make disappear. Uh-huh. A spike field hazard. A shark typhoon. <laughs> And a world's fine worm. Oh, God. Half the combo. Half the combo. However, for the viewers at home, you do not want this card in your hand. Fortunately, if it's discarded, it gets to be shuffled into my library. Well, we don't want to choose choose that one. I'm going to give you a hit. It's going to get discarded either way. Oh, <laughs> so you take God. it now so she won't be happy to discard it. Oh, God. I hate all of these. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll target the make disappear, I guess. Okay. Make disappear goes to the graveyard. You take two damage. Yep. All I'm right. Pick my cards back up. White and another. I take one damage off of the mana confluence, and I will play Rafine's Informant. And enters the battlefield. It connives, meaning I draw a card, and then I discard a card. And if the card I discarded is a non-land, which it is, because I'm discarding a Parhelion. No, sorry. I'm going to discard this Parhelion. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. important. It connives. Actually, becoming... Judge, he already said he was going to discard the other Parhelion. It's a war. <laughs> Put it back. Switch them up. <laughs> All right. No, it's fine. I'll give it to him. Cool. Uh, so you're not allowed really to do that. Me. Overruling the judges' rule. Rule. <laughs> well, no respect for judges. No respect for judges. <laughs> move. Move to this declare. This is the game we played ever. This move to declare attackers. I will not block. You will not block. Interesting. I'm gonna go to 15. All right. Is that Next all? Turn. I would hate to move you to your end step for you. <laughs> That'd be rude. <laughs> all right. Discard two cards. Which two do I want to discard? It's up to two? Yeah, it's, I could So if you, if you got the perfects, like you have half the combo in your hand. Yeah. Like you wouldn't want to lose that combo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Basin. Yeah, have it to help. So. Great, so I'm going to discard this. Uh, at the end of my draw, after I draw my cards, I'm going to shuffle this into my library. Okay. All right, so draw one, two. Okay. Uh, and then this will shuffle in. Would you like to cut my deck, Professor? Yes, I would like to cut your deck. That's smart. Right. Uh, that's the World Spire Worm right there. Oh, you, you don't want me to draw it again? Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> I will enter combat and attack for two. This will make a treasure token, which I have right here. Goblin Shaman's kind of like Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. He's got his little treasure. Keeps around. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll block with the okay. Rafines so Informant. They'll trade. They both trade. Um, perfect, because we only have one Goblin Shaman, and I want to cast another Fable oh. of the Mirror Breaker. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so this comes out. I'm then going to play a another Spike Field Hazard, and mm -hmm. I'm going to get this one tapped. Okay. Uh, and that's all I got. All right, untap, up, keep, and drawer. Oh, that's a kind of cool. Let's see what we want to do here. I'm going to play a Mana Confluence. Thought Seize, losing to life. Okay. Shark Typhoon, Fiery Impulse, Fiery Impulse. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I guess we'll do the, uh, are you all tapped out? Do you have, I treasure? have treasure? token. You have a treasure token. I'm gonna do the Shark Typhoon. Okay. Actually, doing the Shark Typhoon. Then let's go ahead. Now I believe I am correct on this though. You can pick up your Fiery Impulses, by the way. You can leave them there, I don't care. I believe I'm correct on this. I'm actually gonna do <laughs> losing two more life for a double green and another. So I am now at 12 life. I'm gonna cast, or attempt to cast, Eldric Evolution. Mm -hmm. I believe I 
sacrifice the sister supplier, you can't fire a. Oh, in response. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yep. I remember that from my goblin grenade days. Hmm. But it does mill first, right? It does mill first. So, when Stitcher supplier enters the graveyard, yeah. we're going to mill one, two, chariots, nice, three, another okay. Stitcher supplier, not, not much there. And then we go and we get a creature where it's X plus two, so three. So let's see what costs three. Mm. Does this deck play any creatures that cost three? I, uh, I wonder. Oh, man. I think it's oh, Cyborg, man. So. Look oh. what I found. It's Grease Fang. Holy cow. Yeah, look at that. What an evolution of my Stitcher supplier. It yeah. went from an Innistrad worker to a rat gangster from Kamigawa. It's called a glow up. It's a glow up. <laughs> A neon glove. A neon <laughs> glow up. Cut me. Okay. Eldritch Evolution is exiled. Grease Fang enters the battlefield. I'm gonna have a response before you move to uh, combat. Before, okay. So I'm in. So before I move to combat, what's what is your response? I'm gonna sack this treasure token for red, and I'm gonna fiery impulse your Grease Fang. Yeah. Yay. Had a feeling that was coming. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Ooh. That's pretty good. All right. So these are gonna flip. This one's gonna flip. Got Reflection of Kiki Jiki. This is gonna go to chapter two. Why, why don't you just leave here? Yeah, that's what I was thinking that's too. Weird. I like weird to do habit. That so that I don't forget to put it back. Yeah, but it looks weird. Well, it's strange. I'm a weird girl, all right? All right. You know what? What? I'm gonna choose to discard zero cards. Probably a good sign. Uh, not a good sign. Probably a good sign. I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna attack you for two. I take this two. gonna make a treasure token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before. I gotta take it. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Mm. This is not good here. So if I get a fifth land, I don't think I have can't stay away in here. So this card right here will win me the game. Hey, it's Grease Bag! Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. I know we're not a, saying that one anymore, but take like, a this damage is a going to nine. Grease Fang on the board. Oh, that's I right. The other one. fiery impulse. Yeah. Cool. Can I can I discard the part Helian instead of Grease Fang going to the graveyard? Uh, I wish I I wish I could help you with that, but unfortunately cool. not. Pass turn. All right, untap, draw. We got. This is gonna go to chapter three. I'm gonna crack this treasure token for red. Uh huh. Red, 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 red. For five mana, Indomitable Creativity X equals two. We're gonna target these two. Uh, so I'm gonna. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller reveals cards from the top of his or her library until an artifact or creature card is revealed. Oh. And then I exile it. Then I put those exiled cards in the battlefield and I just, my library. I just realized how your deck works and I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's start revealing cards from the top of my library. So this yeah, is Yeah, I get one. it. And like the whole thing is set up and that's why you wanted the, I understand how the deck works now. Just in time. I was really hoping Jesse would draw the World Spine Worm that turn. That, that was be been really good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that would have been pretty good. Do do. Yeah. Right. Does it get haste? Oh, this is fun. It's, oh, there's the first does one. Does it have haste so or get haste? It uh, doesn't have haste wait. yet. Yeah. So I get another turn. All right. Uh, that, that, so that's just the first one. X yeah. equals two. I'm destroying the uh, other reflection of Kiki Jiki. Keep going. Surely somewhere in here. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, that. Xenagos. So this gets destroyed. I believe the correct term is Xenagod. Xenagod. And then I shuffle the rest of my library. All right. And I have the Parhelion in play. Nice. And it's... Uh, not even enough. <laughs> not even <laughs> enough. <laughs> even with the angels, equipped. I think you actually die. <laughs> it's, 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 it's got... I've got... And, so, I, and I've got some cat tokens, nice. remember. That's fine, too. The cat came back. Uh, it's like Witch's Oven deck. Yeah. Ah. The cats came back. So... It's cauldron familiar. Just cats. But they're two twos. To so go they, through they the equip. motions, I'm gonna enter combat. This is gonna target this. This becomes a 30-30 yeah. with haste and it already has trample. Feels like overkill, well, it Jesse. Trample. It honestly feels double turn. Yeah, All right, trample great. Too. I think that card right. is okay. Cool. Cool. Good games. Good games. Ah. Feels good. So feels you're not right. but you're not you haven't won yet. No? Well, now you did technically win the first two games, but but you have to beat someone twice in order to win. Now, we used to do it that way, but everybody complained mm. that it didn't make sense, that that gives you the win. So you have to beat Mason twice. Mason, however, since he's coming in against a 2-0 champion, if he knocks you out, he becomes the winner. That's the rule, and that's how this works. Oh, Slingshot engage. Yeah. 
Well, fortunately, he's just not going to win. So well, easy peasy. There's there's only six decks left in our gauntlet. So uh, May, Mason picks. No, no, you. Mason should get to pick and go first. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's why do it. not? <laughs> awesome. So I'm gonna pick Rakdos Sacrifice for my rematch with Jesse. I've played this deck a bunch in Historic and a little bit in Pioneer, and I think this is gonna be a good one to take on Jesse with most decks she likes to play. Oh man, my hands are getting tired from tapping my land so much, and you know, uh, I, I don't know if I can pull out another win. Just kidding, I know I can pull out another win. My last deck of the day will be Is It Phoenix, uh, a, a baby of mine. I love, I love the birds, and I love bringing them back, so. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure how the Sacrifice Phoenix matchup goes, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Round three, the final grudge match. Mason has chosen... Rakdos Sacrifice. And Jesse, you picked Phoenix, which I didn't say anything when you said that Phoenix was your pick at the time, but that was actually the deck that we used in our very first episode of Shuffle Up and Play. Oh, wow. That's my personal Phoenix deck. So it may not be a complete list or a perfect, <laughs> it's actually my Phoenix and sometimes I'm missing a card and I just, I kind of throw an extra card in. I'll work with whatever we it, got. You're gonna be working with something, all right? Also, I think I removed the banned expressive iteration. That's banned, right? Yeah. That's out, I took those <laughs> out. I think that was what happens. I took the expressive iterations out and I didn't really, I think I shoved. Anyway, good luck, Jesse. We'll work with what we got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck, good luck. It's like mostly what I saw people playing with mm -hmm. and had in my collection. We have some spicy choices in this uh, sacrifice deck. Nice. Yeah. All right, and Mason. So you're on the play? Yeah, Mason's on the play. I've been yeah. on the draw all episode. We'll even yeah. up a card the whole game, if you wanna look at it that way. I don't. Well, all right, cool. Dang. We're doing the shuffle thing again. Gotta, well, you gotta make sure, you know. I can't possibly lose this game. Why can't you possibly lose this game? Because I won't be able to live with myself. Oh, well, that's gonna <laughs> wow. be hard. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just making sure. No, take your time. No, no, no I, I think there's 60. I think, the I, I think there's 60 cards in there. Oh, no, no, I, I just wanted to make sure it was cut. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 I meant like it's. Oh, really, like, I really it's should actually, actually 60 my, cards. I'm, I got a lot of decks, okay? I play a lot of uh, magic and. Is this a setup? Um, are you gonna get a judge call at some point and they're gonna count my deck? That'd be really <laughs> funny if we had actually like planned that whole thing or in match one, I count your deck and then you get two. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm not sure. I got I got I got a close. The one. fact that this is main deck is so good for me. Which one? I hate that. Is that that's supposed to be main deck, right? It's not usually, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. It's okay. <laughs> no, that yeah it is. Yeah, uh -huh. what, what card? No, no, I, I remember thinking about that because that was a card when it was in standard that was one of those stupid uncommons that was so, well I shouldn't say, but it was like, because I'll, he'll know what you have in your hand. Fractaling yeah. Drake? But I, 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 but yeah. I, I remembered that one and I was like, yeah. I remembered it from my youth uh, in standard back when I played standard. All right. Okay. Your turn. Draw. Spire Bluff Canal and say go. Okay, all right. A little bit of a stew going. I got Sulphurous Springs and Devran Executioner Thran. I'm gonna respond. What's that card do? Well, it's on the stack, so I, I don't want to tell her before she, she's uh, responding. What does the card this do? A, this is a two mana 2-2 two, two that whenever one or more other creatures you control die, each opponent loses two life and I gain two life. This ability may only trigger once each turn. Great. I'm gonna cast Opt in response. Resolves. I was thinking about it. I'll keep that one on top. Nice. That resolves. Go. Untap, draw. Do you know Grizzly Bear? Ever heard of that card? No, I haven't. This is that with extra text. Wow. Power I'm gonna play a River Glide Pathway on this side. It's an island. Ooh. Pay two and play a Ledger Shredder. My my dear dear friend Ledger Shredder. Oh, a Ledger Shredder, you say? Uh, Ledger Shredder is a two mana one three Bird Advisor. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, it connives. Draw a card, discard a card. If it's a non land, you put a counter on it. I'll pass the turn. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. You're a big fan of the Ledger Shredder. I love Ledger Shredder. I love Lamp. I don't love what it costs. I don't mind what like it costs. Like, one of the blue is pretty good. I know. Nice. I get it. One. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, good. Because it's B. the mana cost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> B, B. It's like a solid B. Mana, it's a B. Mana costs B's the best much. I've ever gotten from a professor mana before. So. Yeah. <laughs> mana B. costs too much for me, you know what I'm saying? I really don't. I, I just don't want to make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 
You know, I've got I've got a little bit of a combo. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this pathway on the red side. I don't like combos. I'm gonna cast Claim the Firstborn. No. Oh, uh, wow. This is a sorcery. Gain control of target creature with mana value three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Which creature are you going to pick? This one. Okay. That's I'm not gonna good for me. Move to combat and attack for three. Uh, yeah, I'll take three. I go to 17. All right, Judge, let's figure out how this works. I'm pretty sure I don't get to do it. All right, main phase two. It's not as good as we would like. I'm going to cast Deadly Dispute. Well, who's we? You and the prop? Me and the prop. Right. <laughs> We're bonding over this. Yeah. Uh, so I have to sacrifice a creature to cast this spell, so I will sacrifice the Legislator. So even though it's my second spell of the turn, I will not get the connive, but I get to draw two cards and create a treasure token, and my Executioner of Thran triggers. You lose two life, and I gain two life. I'm going to go to 15. I'm at 22. This is you. Thank you so much for that. I get a treasure. Anytime. I get this fancy treasure for this deck, and I'm going to draw two cards. That's a sweet treasure. It is a very sweet treasure. I treasure it. Do you get it? No, I don't get no, it. I don't either. Your turn. Right, untap. Draw. Storm Carved Coast. Yeah, it's a, another blue red land. I just untap because I it's my third land. Play a shredder. Resolves. I have a second shredder. Nice. I'm going to cast Lightning Axe. Target Thram. Mm -hmm. uh, discarding Arclight Phoenix. Lightning Axe is an instant. I'm casting it at sorcery speed. For one red mana, you also, as an additional cost, either have to discard a card or pay five generic mana, and it deals five damage to target creature. I'm gonna deal five damage to this, I get to discard an Arclight Phoenix to this cost, and then I'm gonna trigger, trigger my Ledger Shredder. Mm -hmm. Draw, I'm gonna discard something, this one. Okay. This is only other creatures, so yes. you're not taking any damage. Great, uh, and I'll pass the turn. Too bad you didn't have a third spell you could have done there. I'm gonna cast Claim the firstborn. You gotta stop claiming my yeah. first. Oh, wow. This is clearly my second <laughs> born. <laughs> Judge, that is the second born. I gotta go. I, 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 I got flavor text. Uh, I still get the, the token. Thank you very much. The counter. All right, I'm gonna move to combat and attack for two. I can't believe you claimed my second born. Yeah, it's very rude of me, to be honest. Then I'm gonna cast Deadly Dispute again. Oh my second verse, same as the first. Here's your card back. I will. He's not get drained this time. Oh yeah, yeah. That's upside, right? Imagine if you just had played like an opt or something. It'd look so silly. So I'll draw two cards and get that other treasure. So for my land for turn, I'm gonna play Urborg and I'm gonna play this All Star from today, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Another one. And I'm gonna use the two treasures. I'm gonna the dice over here. Are there any Pioneer decks that do not run that Yog Mon card? Mono Green. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You can splash. And the Vena, right? I know the Vena. Play, I don't. It, it, I got bad news for you, Jesse. If Phoenix is supposed to have four of those. I left it out. That oh, might have been the card I left out. It doesn't have it in there. Yeah. Is that all? Yep. I only have three in this. Is deck. that all? So you know, that's just good good gameplay on my part. You're what only you supposed at? to have three. That was that's my editor's deck, not yours. So yeah. I don't know if he did it that way. Yeah. I wanted to honor his build. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Chart a Course. It's a two mana sorcery. Draw two cards. Discard a card unless you attack the creature this turn. You're not gonna attack with the creature this turn. Storm count is one. Storm count one. Ooh, baby. Discard an Arc Light Phoenix. Oh. We are gaming. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Oh, this would be a really good turn. <laughs> I bet. I'm gonna Fiery Impulse your Goblin Shaman. Okay. Storm count is two. Storm count okay, is two. two. Probably won't get anything else. Play a River Guide Pathway. Uh-oh. Exiling uh, one, two, uh, three. Probably be a knob. Four, five. <laughs> probably can't be a treasure cruise. Don't, don't accidentally exile the phoenix. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, uh, what is it, seven cards? Seven. Opt. I'm gonna exile wow. all seven of these, leaving two uh, phoenixes in my graveyard. Uh, for sure. Storm uh, count uh, is to cast treasure trace. Cruise. No doubt. For sure resolves. If you've watched me in the future match here, you're ready for these uh, sleeves to get rolled up. Wow, you're rolling I'm gonna, the all right, so I'm gonna draw three cards. Yeah. It's a bit like Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Probably not anything like it, actually, when you think about it. Okay. Perfectly fine for standard. Yeah, yes. Perfectly fine. Now I'm going to enter combat. Caw, caw. These are going to return. That was my yeah, yeah, that's, Phoenix impression. That was really good. Can that's you tell she's an actress? Yeah. 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 Uh, two Phoenixes enter the battlefield. Okay. I'm attacking for six. All right. I'm going down to 16. And that's all I got, unfortunately. That's oh, it. that's all. You, oh, you only had that. Mason's yeah. holding two more. Claim the firstborns. <laughs> yeah, my firstborns. <laughs> I bet they're about to hit the graveyard. <laughs> I'm gonna discard Field of Ruin and Blackleaf Lifts to draw two additional cards, thanks to Fable. All right. Claim can't take my phoenix. Claim cannot take your phoenix. That is very true. Oh, that's right, huh? Well, I'm a little bit of a pickle. 
That's what she said. Ma that's what she said. Round, pickles. round, round one. Mm -hmm. I have a tendency to put Mason in pickles. <laughs> I'm gonna play Din of the Bugbear for my turn, and then I'm gonna cast Mayhem Devil using these. Okay. And then Mayhem Devil is a 3-3 three, three for 3 that whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, Mayhem Devil deals 1 damage to any target. Okay. So, pass turn. Great. Untap. Yep. Draw a card. Yep. I'm going to start with Consider. Yep. Uh, instant, look at the top card of my library. May put. Actually, it's been keyworded. Now it's just Surveil 1, draw a card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Surveil 1. Storm Count is 1. Storm Count is 1. I don't think I actually want this anymore. Let's draw. I'm going to Lightning Axe your Mayhem Devil discarding Steam Vents. I like how you, you're thinking about it for a second because I know I'm not getting Arc Light Phoenix. Makes it makes it feel better about the whole exchange. Storm Count is two. Storm Count is two. Storm Count is two. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to Arc Light Phoenix. Uh, three. Are you just going to Treasure Cruise I'm again? I'm just going to Treasure Cruise for wow. three mana this time. What a okay. cruise. This whole, this whole One, match. One, two, three. All right, all right. Yep. You've seen this one before? Yeah. Attack you for six. I will fail push using black Ooh. from the Urborg on the Sulphurus Springs. Kapow. Holy cow. I'll go to 13. Oh. I should have done all that post combat. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry, Jesse. Storm counts three. Oh. It's too oh, late. Yeah. All right, that's all I got. The time walk card. All right, I'll draw. I got too fancy. Yeah. Hoisted by your own petard. It's true. What are you at right now? 13. 13. Reflection of Kiki Jiki. 13. All right. Well, hubris. Yeah, um, I was too excited to do my yeah. thing. You okay. just couldn't hide it. Cast Mayhem Devil again. Nice. Okay. I know. I know. Lose control. Oh. Blood Tithe Harvester. So Blood Tithe Harvester is a two mana three two. Now whenever Blood Tithe Harvester enters the battlefield, I create a blood token. Okay. And I can sacrifice Blood Tithe Harvester to minus X minus X a creature on the battlefield times two the number of blood I have. So for example, right now it would minus two minus two. Okay. And that is it. Your turn. Nothing to see here. A lot just of big, stuff over there. Just Untap, big draw. chilling. Just big chilling. Hanging out. Out by the school. You've seen this one before? I'm going to cast Consider. Yep. I'm going to Surveil 1. Yep. I'll Surveil the Spire Bluff Canal to the graveyard. Yep. Draw a card. I'm going to... This is going to be kind of fun. Play a Lava Guide Lava Glide Pathway. It's the flip side of River Glide Pathway. I'm going to pay 2 for a Galvanic Iteration. <laughs> What's the cast, storm count now? Uh, two. 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 Two, but... When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets with a copy. Sweet. Uh-oh. So I'm going to uh, cast a braid. Deal three damage to target creature. It's going to get copied by Galvanic Iteration. I'll yep. deal three damage here and here. Okay. These two are both gone. Okay, so that's the card. A braid is main board. No, it's not usually main board. It is it totally is, main it board. It is not normally main board. It's okay, though. It's all right. <laughs> it is really good against me, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, then I'm going to deal three. Sorry. I'm going to cast Fiery Impulse. Deal three damage to that. Okay. I will enter that combat. That game. Oof. That's rough. Uh, and I'll attack you for six again. I'm at seven. Go. Alrighty. Gosh, Leave a comment in the, this video if Braid is main board ever in, in, in Phoenix. That my, my, our on site judge is. Uh, yeah, there is. It's, it's right up. here. This it is totally. <laughs> well, it isn't my fault. My staff was playing with the deck and they I mean, didn't de sideboard. I will say it's not like out of the question. It just hasn't been done in a while. I think maybe by the time you built this, it was. More common. I blame everyone but myself. That's reasonable. Yeah. That is the magic player. The great way. thing about being the boss. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to play a cat oven. Or an oven. I wish I had an oven. And a cat. Okie dokie. I'm going to play Mahamicus Devil. <laughs> Aren't you done playing that card? <laughs> no. I was trying to get a little sneaky win going on there. You didn't have three removal spells. Well, I only had two removal spells. <laughs> well, yeah, Galvanic Iteration really and one does. one of them wasn't supposed to be in the main board. <laughs> that's okay. It's main board if that's how the deck was submitted. Yeah, that's true. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly happy to have a braid in the main board. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. For sure. Curious how I walk away to the bathroom or come back into brain, a braid's main board. <laughs> I'm just, I'm following the money is all I'm saying. I'll pass the turn. All I'm saying is just, it was a bad shock in this case. Was it a bad shock? Untap. Yeah, it was a bad shock. It was, uh, I killed two, two toughness things. All right, draw. Nice. The trick is, is if you can do all seven damage this turn. Flashback Galvanic Iteration. Yeah. Ooh. Consider? Cast Consider. All right. Uh, it's going to get copied, so yes. I get to cast two Considers. Talk about really being in the tank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, she she right, considered so a lot here. One. Graveyard, draw. 
survey all two. Is it another piece of the puzzle? <laughs> it's a second of brain? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I insist that these are main board cards. I saw it on MTG Goldfish. So if you got a problem with my oh main board, my. you take it up with MTG Goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Someone ran a list be, be that fun, was listed on MTG Goldfish. Said, yeah, borrow your, borrow your producer's uh, sacrifice deck, they I said. I gotta find the like, deck list on MTG yeah, Goldfish. No, I see why he loses all the games when you all play now. You've just been adding a braids every time you play. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow, I lose that cat oven card a lot. What if can I do to fix it? If it's such a good card, it should be in the main board. That's so true. All right, all right. what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? I'm gonna attack you for six. All right, before damage, I'm gonna sacrifice my blood and discard Sokinzon to draw a card. This will trigger my Mayhem Devil. I'm gonna deal one damage to All right. you. With that trigger on the stack. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm gonna fiery impulse your Mayhem Devil. Okay. All right, go ahead. Draw. Okay, I will go to one. Okay. That's all I got, pass all the right. turn. The fact that she couldn't finish you off is really a, a bad, yeah. it, you know, it reflects poorly on her, her skills, having won okay, every on. single Round. Got a little bit of a stew going. <laughs> I'm going to start celebrating early. I got a little bit of a stew going. I got All right, plans. Mason, let's see it. Let's I'm see gonna it. I'm going to cast Witch's Oven. Notably, <laughs> I've waited through all your braids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my two main board of braids. Then I'm going to cast Cauldron Tremilliar. Oh, my God. Oh God. I'm going to gain a life, and you're going to lose a life. I'm going to go to 12. All right. I'm, all right. I'm firmly at 12. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass the turn to you. I'm going to do some actions before I move to attacks. Yep. You might want to play around me attacking next turn at the end of the bugbear, so. Pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Reveal the top five cards of my library, put mm -hmm. up to two instants and or sorceries from among them into my hand, the rest into my graveyard. Yep. One, two, three, uh-oh, four. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the real winner, Jesse? <laughs> nice pieces unlucky, of the puzzle. <laughs> really unlucky. All right, well, my pieces put zero cards in my hand. It does put a phoenix in the graveyard, not that that will matter. I'm Storm gonna, count is one. Storm count is one. I'm gonna cast. Do you have a braid? I, my second spell. <laughs> I swear to God, if you cast a braid, I'm leaving. <laughs> it is a much better as my second spell. Okay, sure. nice. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat. Just a quick reminder: uh, if you like, you might want to play around like me attacking you back. So you might only want to attack with one phoenix. I am at only two life. It's kind of funnier that way. I'm gonna move to combat. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're trying to get me to. I was to get you. <laughs> I'm gonna attack about? your six. Uh, well, cats are notorious for blocking birds, but I'm gonna choose not to. So good okay. games. Look at this. The clean sweep. S clean sweep, different sweep. deck every round, different opponents. She still is the champion, undefeated. Last time you were on with <laughs> no ban list them. modern. Look at that, all right. All right, I, 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 I guess you can keep the job. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> we didn't want to tell you, we thought the pressure might be too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. It would have been. Man, this feels right. This feels good. The Braid main board. I swear to God, I saw it on MTG Goldfish. I saw it on MTG Goldfish. I will take any odds <laughs> that you would like to present. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. You didn't blow up my artifact. Have you blown my witch's oven? This episode just wouldn't be. Yeah, I would have laughed. It'd be a whole thing. It'd be yeah. awkward. I milled it. It was you fine. You did mill it one time after you used it. <laughs> I'm really happy Jessie has a spot where she can finally prove to multiple people that she can beat me in Magic. I know that's been a big thing for her for a long time. I'm really happy to see her grow and mature and reach that spot. And you know, sometimes, you know, you get to win on camera. Sometimes you have extra braids in your deck. Who's to say? It's really, a, it's good. And you know, doesn't taint the win at all, I would say. I personally think she earned it and there was no extra braids, no worries. All right, so Grease Fang didn't work out, but I maintain that if I was using my 10 year old standard deck, French Rights, I could have won this. Here we are, back at it again. Remain undefeated on Shuffle Up and Play, and let me just say, I'm not surprised. In fact, I, I, I could have told you this would have happened at the beginning. We didn't even need to record this whole video. I could have told you this was gonna happen. Beating Mason, I'm no stranger to that. I'm pretty happy with uh, just another, you know, day at the office. At the end of the day, I'm going to say that is pretty extraordinary. I would expect no less from TCC staff. If you are looking for the best content in Magic the Gathering, you can find it here at Tolarian Community College because Jesse writes so many of our scripts, or if you'd like, at Titty Pills on Twitter. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. 
Today, we have a powerful pod of potent personalities coming to bring you Commander, but with a twist. This format is Treasure Cruise. It was developed by members of my Discord to satisfy the base Magic player urge to gamble whenever possible. It features a special add-on deck of mostly helpful artifacts with a couple harmful curses that you can roll a die to go digging and get something for free on your board. Ba-boom! God damn it! <laughs> is this back-to-back -back curses? <laughs> Time. It's time for bees. No, not oh. the bees. Ironcrag Pyromancer. I see a lot of things that die to three damage, so I'm pretty excited about that. So everything in your hand and in play dies to removal? Specifically removal that is set up by the Howling One that's currently in play. I'll oh, stop it. Outside of game, how, how, if I'm gonna just top? I think you need to say to the camera, I'd like some top, please. I and would like some top, please. <laughs> <It's almost> <laughs>